Hi there, Heather Hall here. I'm a registered dietitian and a certified leap therapist, and I specialize in teaching you how to beat chronic disease and eat your way back to health. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about healthcare in America and our approach to chronic disease, and specifically, some of my ideas for putting the health back into healthcare. So according to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, about half of Americans, over half of Americans now suffer from at least one chronic disease, uh, which are non-contagious long-term diseases like heart disease and arthritis and cancer and eczema and diabetes and so many more. Um, but even worse than these statistics is that a quarter of Americans actually deal with two or more chronic diseases, two-thirds of us are overweight, a third of us are obese, and worst of all, obesity and disease are affecting our children in larger and larger numbers and at younger and younger ages. So even though we have more medications than we've ever had before, more diet programs than we've ever had before, uh, a better understanding of the human body and um, surgeries and how things function, we um, are sicker than we've ever been before. Our health continues to decline. It seems clear to me that we need a different approach to chronic disease. We need to approach it from a different paradigm than we're currently attacking it from because it's not working Rather than playing this game of whack-a-mole where we try to knock down any symptoms that might pop up with powerful medications or surgeries, what if we backed up a few steps? And rather than whacking the mole, what if we figured out why is the mole appearing in the first place? What if we put the health back into healthcare by actually encouraging people to eat healthier, to sleep better, to reduce the stressors in their lives, to move more as the first step in their treatment plan. Even as I say this, you're probably thinking, duh, of course we have to do those things if we want to be healthy. But the fact of the matter is that most of us don't do all of those things, or even some of those things, and most healthcare providers never advocate these strategies either. So I have watched dozens of my own clients become nearly or totally symptom free from diseases or conditions that they've been struggling with and medicating for years. And all it took was someone educating them on the correct health principles and coaching and supporting them through some of those simple but difficult lifestyle changes that they needed to make. Um, and the thing about lifestyle changes is that they're usually in direct opposition to the environment that we're living in, which makes them more difficult. As a dietitian, of course, my focus is food medicine. Um, and that alone has completely changed the lives of a lot of my clients. But imagine if we worked together in our various areas of expertise a little bit more as healthcare providers to help people to be healthy, not just to try to suppress their symptoms without ever correcting the true problem. I feel like that together we could be so much more powerful. <clears throat> In my quest to make diet and lifestyle therapies first line treatments for chronic disease rather than the last resort, I um, am planning to share on my blog a lot of simple tools that people can use um, to implement in order to reclaim their health. I also feel compelled to create simple step-by-step -step programs for a variety of conditions that you could implement in your attempt at real healing from chronic disease. Now there's always going to be those people that are going to benefit from one-on-one -on -one, um, work with a dietitian or a doctor or um, somebody in the right level of expertise just because um, they are going to need an individualized approach in order to take care of underlying conditions. But for a lot of people, I've seen that the most basic steps are often the most helpful. 
And so why not start there? Why not start with the basic things, the things that don't cost a lot of money or time or effort and um, have a systematic way to actually implement them and apply them with somebody teaching you why you should do those things so that you understand and then teaching you how to do them in bite-sized pieces. That's my goal with the programs that I create. Um, you know, so like I said, for some people, these simple strategies make all the difference. For other people, it's going to take a little bit more drastic um, lifestyle therapies or testing or even medications and surgeries, depending on the extent of your disease and your condition. But, you know, so I'm not suggesting that all use of medications and surgeries is not helpful because that's certainly not the case. We're so blessed by many of the, um, the conventional approaches that we have out there. But what I am suggesting is that whenever possible, we should be encouraging and educating and encouraging sick people to heal from the inside out using food and movement and other lifestyle therapies as frontline treatments. Um, some healthcare providers might argue that, you know, a lot of people would rather just pop a pill or amputate a foot due to poor diabetic control rather than make the changes that they need to get healthy. And for some people, that's totally true. They'll never be willing to make the changes. But for a lot of people, it's not true. And they are looking for answers. They are searching for something that they can do. They're even trying to make changes. They just don't know the right changes to make. Um, or they don't have the support and the coaching that they need. And so there's plenty of people out there that would be willing to try these measures if it was available to them. Another thing um, that I've seen, unfortunately, is that some healthcare providers will go so far as to ridicule their patients who ask if there might be a dietary approach that they could take, or they'll completely shut down their patient's excitement when they come to an appointment having, having made you know, significant progress in their condition using unconventional measures. And so this always makes me kind of sad and it um, it seems a little incredulous that healthcare has come to that point where we scoff at people that are actually trying to use basic healthcare principles. Um, when they desire to make changes, a lot of times we really offer them no resources. Sometimes a doctor might give them a handout, um, but that's usually the extent of it. And you know, it seems a little puzzling that this is the point where we're at in healthcare, but it happens all the time to my clients and it's happened to me as well. So, um, on my blog, you will be seeing more information, more blog posts and more videos to help, um, help you take back your health. And, uh, I also have a private Facebook group where we have, um, have that same goal of just gathering a community of people that really want to take action and um, want that information. So we'll be sharing that there as well. I'm already, you know, studying and developing some programs to walk you through the most essential steps to get you back on the path to health and healing um, using food medicine. Um, in the meantime, I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to share. Um, I'd love it if you'd share if there's any programs, you know, for specific health conditions that you feel like would be most helpful for us to get that information out there. Um, if you are ready to make changes and you want a really systematic program to help you do that, I do already have one program out that's called the four week jumpstart course. So this incorporates, um, all of these tools that I've been talking about and much more and kind of breaks them down into these bite-sized steps and weekly videos to help you be able to implement them in an actionable way. So if you're interested in that, head to heatherhallrdn.com and, uh, and check out the programs that I offer there. So uh, we'd love to hear your feedback in the comments and thanks for watching. <laughs>